Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you the features of Lineage OS 14 and 14.1 which you may have missed and you may want to get that. The first feature is Data Saver which is available in the Data Usage tab. Let's go to Data Saver and tap on Data Saver On. And now you can see here it is written to help reduce data usage, data server prevents some apps from sending or receiving data in the background. So yeah, it will uh, help you reduce if you're using WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram at the same time. And if you're using WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram are in the background, now the Facebook and Instagram will not use your any of the data and it will be very much saved because Facebook uses uh, much a uh, lot amount of data. So you can save a very good much amount of data and here is the unrestricted data usage so you can restrict data for apps which are not uh, like which don't use data or they are unnecessary data is spent on them the next thing is live display in the display feature here we get the live display feature and is the display mode now it's set to automatic and you can turn it off also if you like the uh, lcd same uh, white color display and in the day mode, when in the daytime, it will be like same LCD display and in the night time, you can get a blue light filter like this. You can see some yellow screen which may uh, not give any uh, harm to your eyes. And it's very good for the view. So you can easily uh, browse at night and view movies. But uh, for movies, uh, you can view on the uh, same one. And here is one more option. Okay, let me uh, first turn it off. Okay sorry automatic and here's the color temperature you can like adjust the color on your screen automatically so i will reset it to default only and turn it off now it's the color calibration also you can see how dark and green and red colors you want so you can uh, so this is like a blue light filter only which may change your values and give you a good definite screen and here's the reduce power consumption so adjust display for lowest power consumption without degradation so this will help your battery to get improved now the next two things are under the display same under display one the prevent accidental wake up and wake on plug so wake on plug is when you connect it to a computer with the micro usb or like you are charging so the screen will uh, wake up when you charge it but when you turn this off the screen won't wake up and you won't get any like every time the screen is waking up and you go and power power it off and here's prevent accidental wake up so this will reduce the use of the proximity sensor in your pockets or your purse or uh, sometimes it may auto automatically uh, wake up in your pocket and something goes wrong so yeah this will uh, stop it so that's a good one and one more thing is here display size so this is the my this is my favorite one so you can increase it uh, sorry decrease the display size to a very smaller one or small one like you can see this is a small one and if you love more smaller you can go down so this will become like a tablet screen as you can see see it's looking like a tablet screen so that's very awesome but I set it to a default only for now to show you. Next thing is this sounds one. In the sound one there are many modifications as link ringtone and notification volumes. So if you are using WhatsApp and want only the WhatsApp tones and not the notification volume then you can disable this feature and increase the notification volume only and reduce the ring volume. But don't make it at silent. Only this and notification volume is here is one more thing increasing ring volume you can see the start volume and you can see the ramping up time volume which may increase you can also vibrate for calls but it is available in many things so you have the other sounds and charging sound you can set another sound for charging like there are many notification sounds or you can download many notification sounds from the uh, means there are many sites where you can give and also vibrate for it if you don't want but you cannot vibrate but you should enable anything or like default sounds or none and only vibrate here is the none option you 
can take it only vibrate so you can feel a vibration while you have connected it to a power source the most important one on any android marshmallow nougat i know this is the old one but that's a very useful feature and if many of you don't know please enable this uh, but be sure to take a backup of your sd card because if it's used a lot you need to backup it and if you want to increase your internal storage and if you do not remove your sd card from it so you can use this the adaptable storage feature which is uh, included in the storage settings then you go to the sd card you can go here storage settings and here are two options format and format internal format with only formatted like simple one and format as internal it will change from ext4 to ft f fs partition to make it like uh, look like a internal storage and when you connect to any uh, usb mass storage or your pc then it will be only one storage so uh, make sure you understand everything and read the description for this feature to know more about it and know the risk and everything about this so yeah good luck for you before using please read the description now coming to the next thing about the battery the battery saver and performance so in the battery thing uh, the battery saver is available from the lollipop version and in some versions which reduces the battery and here when you visit yeah the automatic power save and here pro performance is balanced so you can keep it like oh this is my screen flickering issue don't worry it will not happen with you balance and performance the performance mode is like you are using it full performance while gaming and everything balance for moderate users you can also go to extreme power save mode and uh, this is my uh, screen flickering issue don't worry it may not happen with you so these are uh, very good features also automatic power save at 15 percent or so you can set it like you want so this is a very good thing to save your battery life in the device options we also get one thing called as gestures here the gestures jump to camera and double tap to sleep only available on custom roms like cm and other uh, paranoia and many they are old now jump to camera is very good if your screen is locked or anything open you can double tap and jump to camera so this is very good and it works on any screen see and if you are i am in settings and i am doing something so it opens directly so if you are a camera key you have this full potential of the camera and can click click uh, directly click pictures from there so that's a good feature i love it see one more time i will do it for you yeah open very good Another thing we get and it's the most used one by many users is the button configuration You can see here enable nav bar, but when you enable the nav bar the uh, This is the hardware buttons are directly disabled So here also return enable on screen nav bar and disable hardware buttons And here is the left handed mode when you go to landscape mode. Let me show you It won't available on the this side. It will be available on directly the left side so you can do from this so this is one good feature for your phone if you use a lot while landscape mode show arrow keys while typing that is only one thing here we can see some arrow keys buttons and layouts you can lay out your button here is the back one and home i can replace it so here you can go with center and here the menu and well so i have replaced uh, many things okay no this thing here okay so now i have uh, set it to like and i'll save and now you can see the nail bar is appearing like hell like it's now it, it has fully changed now we can also change many things here buttons from here 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 anywhere you want to so there's many good things you know is the power menu and you can include the screenshot and sound panel too is long press for touch if you turn your phone off and when you long press you can see the touch and again long press to get it off so this is another good feature of your phone if you are using lineage os end call you can end call this is available in many features so here are some uh, features if you use hardware buttons see the short press action recent button uh, is split screen and long spread can see the split screen thing 
Okay, there are no apps now running. Wake device, answer call. Oh, split screen is working now. I think camera was in the background. Voice. Okay, let's move to. Okay, wake device, answer call, control playback, reorient. So there are many many options for the volume buttons too. So that's very good for this phone now. The most important feature of your phone is the privacy guard. The privacy guard helps to reduce the access to a personal information. You can enable it by default and if you install some apps, I will show with some inbuilt apps. Now you have some inbuilt apps. Okay, browser. So I will protect it to not read my information. And some more if uh, you are using internet a lot. Facebook and other things so they cannot uh, save your uh, information like so that is a very good thing and one more thing here is the app lock which is called as a protected apps so you can protect apps with a password see I have said this a normal one and you can protect any apps okay now you have said this let's go here now you can directly go and see you don't have the apps on the home screen now if you want to go to those apps if you are the your personal apps you can go to protected apps input the password and go from here so this is one of my favorite things in the lineage os they prevent uh, uh, users from spying on your phone and everything so this is one good thing one more thing is the status bar in the status bar we can see many configurations like show notification count you can enable system icons here some headset and auto rotate screen the brightness control from here oh this is one of my favorite quick pull down from right means directly pulling down the notifications ignoring and now the system icons and here's the clock position in the center you can set it to anywhere AM PM style and also battery status style like the icon landscape, portrait, or hidden, or text, or circle, and inside the icon, or next to the icon. So there are many features of the lineage OS. So let's move to the next one. The last thing is the main advanced reboot. So it is available in developer options and developer options are hidden. So tap on the build number and you have enabled the developer options. But tap on build number seven times. Go to developer options, here is the advanced restart. Now you can see, this is the main restart one and you don't get any reboot or actions. When you click on restart, you get the soft reset recovery boot loader. So this is very awesome. One more thing that the Lineage OS is not pre-rooted and I think the Lineage OS devs have uh, removed the root status or root status is uh, disabled. So there is a good thing that you may use some apps which restrict the use uh, root uses and you cannot use it on your phone so you can use this as your uh, like uh, fully osp without root functions like some social apps and if you don't want anything happen to your phone you cannot root uh, sorry you, then you don't want to root it and then it's okay you can use it without root too but you may not uh, change the boot animation and everything now we are running on this stock and the other all uh, varieties of the samsung that qmg folder are removed so these are the main features of the lineage os i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you uh, all features will work very good and will not uh, disappoint you and if anything is not working or if anything is not there please go and in the comment section you can write about it so i hope you like this video and please stay tuned for more videos and if you like this video please press the like button and comment for issues and subscribe for more videos thank you and goodbye